IBC, Dale uh, K433 here to do next episode in um, the series I'm doing on Lost in the Collection, uh, picking five records that have languished in the collection for at least five years without being listened to, um, revisiting them and uh, yeah, sort of uh, seeing what I thought of them um, having gone back. So first up is this album, Jethro Tull's Aqualung. Um, this is, uh, where is it, 1971, I think, isn't it? 1971, it's not got a date, no date on it, but I think 1971, this is a UK textured sleeve. Um, yeah, so this is, um, you know, quite a lauded um, album in the Jethro Tull catalogue. Um, for me, um, it's a bit more on the on the rock and a bit less on the folk side of Jethro Tull, and I prefer the folk side. So, so it's a good album. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a, stood up well as a, as a great album. It's got some standout tracks that are quite famous: Aqualung and Locomotive Breath. But yeah, uh, it's uh, enjoyable. But as I say, I probably prefer their slightly folkier side um, to this um, rockier side um but uh yeah good all the same next up is a band called the temperance movement and their self-titled album from 2013 um so yeah, there they are um yeah so they're well certainly uh, the, the lead singer phil campbell is from scotland i think glasgow i think and um I was aware of him, um, he'd done some singer-songwriter solo stuff, which I really liked. Um, so I bought this, um, and what is this? This is like, I guess, southern rock, blues rock, um, a bit kind of Black Crows-y. And, and his vocal on here, it, it sounds very American. So and knowing knowing his previous stuff, and uh, I, I, therefore I was a bit disappointed. I never quite got into it, and, and going back to it, as I say, my kind of... It's, you know, it's not authentic if you like um so so it never really sat well with me and I, and I felt the same it's a good southern rock blues rock style album but um i'm you know i much prefer his solo stuff um that i was aware of um so uh yeah so it was okay um so yeah that's so next up this 10 cc um the original soundtrack so yeah sort of where, where am i with 10 cc so i previously had sheet music this and how dare you were the three 10 cc albums i had and i got rid of sheet music and how dare you and kept this as i thought yeah this is by far my favorite and the other two i'm not that bothered about but then as part of the garage garage rescues of the of the first lockdown last year um i brought the other two back into the collection and enjoyed them so i was really looking forward to going back to this if i you know enjoy the other two again um and actually i was a little bit disappointed with this this didn't seem to me to have um to, you know uh, uh, dated as or you know hasn't hadn't kind of stood up to the test of time as well as those other two felt a bit dated you know um you know 10 cc uh, i really admire the fact that they are so out there they will experiment um not just do um bog standard and so you know admire the, 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 them for that but i think this one um <clears throat> partly because i've never really been a fan of maybe because you've heard it too much i'm not in love the song is on here and it's not a song that i particularly want to hear i've heard it too many times so so um and the opening sort of sequence um a, a night in paris um parts one two and three or whatever uh, it's yeah i'd say it's a little bit so um yeah so so it's surprising actually that you know having kept this and got rid of the other two i've now I think the other two are better than this um i'll keep them all i mean still 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 a decent listen not going so well this week um so and then next up is um solo album from Stephen Wilson he of the porcupine tree then Stephen Wilson and now um, everyone's a remixer of choice it seems doing all these deluxe CD reissues of the likes of XTC and Jess Rotel and, and, and others um, remixing all of their albums for them 
Um, um, and I think for, uh, because of that, I think he's either you either love him or you lo or you loathe him. I think seems to be the the, the general opinion. Um, uh, yeah, so so I've got most of his solo albums, and I've got several Porcupine Tree albums, um, and I've probably had a bit of a break from from them for several years. And so this was me sort of going back to one that's well well re you know sort of respected album um the raven that refused to sing um and yeah it was hit and miss for me um you know um i think the the the, the song drive home is 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 a very you know i think what stephen wilson does well he does these kind of anthemic ballads really really well and that's one of those and his voice when he's doing the ballad style i think is really really nice um um and then some of the other stuff watchmaker and, and the title track are, are good um but yeah, I kind of, uh, I think I need to go back to Porcupine Tree um, and then maybe work myself back to, to Stephen Wilson because maybe I've just, say, fallen slightly out of love um, with, with the music. But enjoyed it. I keep saying that. <laughs> I'm, sla I'm trashing these albums and then saying that, but I enjoyed them. Um, okay, so saving, saving, the, saving the week. Um, so uh, this is um, Dead Can Dance and uh, Anastasis, which was their album from was it 2012, something like that, around then, can't see, it's printed, well I think it's around 2012, 2013, so this was after a, quite a long break um, from um, their previous album Spirit Chaser, you know 15, 16 years, something like that, if not longer. Um, uh, and this was a real return to form. So for me, um, where I am, I've got, I think I've got nearly all, if not all, Dead Can Dance albums. <laughs> Does that? So their first album is very different, um, a bit more kind of indie. Um, then they then they got this sound um, of this kind of spiritual Eastern sound, and they uh, uh, and the you know, you know um, they they alternate um, singing the songs. Normally they don't tend to do duets or anything like that. So um, so yeah, um, there's um, Brendan Perry does one and song, and then Lisa Gerard does another one, um, and um, they've done that throughout the course of their albums. And I think they got to for me, Into the Labyrinth was a peak, and then um, Spirit Chaser, which was the album before this in the mid '90s, um, was as I say like slight tail off, and then they had took this break, as I said, for until 2012, 2013. And this came out and it's a real return to form lovely as I say eastern sort of turkish greek middle eastern um sort of sounding with with their wonderful kind of um vocals um with the sort of deeper baritone is it i don't know if, it's, if that's right um of brendan perry and the kind of obviously much higher register of, of lisa gerard um it's just sound fantastic so yeah this pressing this is i bought this when it came out it's on clear vinyl um, it's a bit of a noisy, noisy surface noise sort of pressing. Fantastic sounding, um, and mostly it stays below the music. So, it, but the sort of for the very quiet bits, there is a bit of crackling on it, which is a little bit just you know disappointing. Um, but um, but yeah, it sounds good when it's obviously when, when you can just hear the music. But um, really, really enjoyed going back to that, and I probably want to go back to some more Dick and Dance after that. So there's five, and I think yeah, what I'd say is four of them. I think I've got this sort of scoring system in my in my spreadsheet, um, and um, four of them probably went down went down a point, um, and um, this one um, was the one you know, was the stand up for the week. Um, probably went up a notch. Um, so um, yeah, so that was five records. I'm now going to go off and work out what what. Um, and these were all Dale's picks this week. Was a the theme. So um, yeah, I chose to go back to these records. Um, so I didn't pick records that you know were, were, were nailed on um, winners. I, I just picked records that I thought, mm, I can't remember how that sounds. Um, I went back to these five, um, and yeah, it was uh, interesting. Uh, okay, I'll stop waffling now and um, go back and uh, see what I'm going to play for next week. Cheers, bye.